Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the headquarters of the Royal Institute of British Architects. My name is David Gloucester, and I'm Director of Education here at the RIBA. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the President's Medal Ceremony. Uh, before we start, just some housekeeping. In case of emergency, please note uh, there is one exit on my left at the bottom of the hall and another one at the top of the room. And I would also be grateful if you could switch off your mobile phones for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you. Now, we're here tonight to celebrate the RIBA's Architectural Education Awards. Tonight's ceremony recognises talent at all stages of architectural education, from undergraduate to postgraduate, in academic and professional research, and it also rewards the achievements of a career devoted to architectural education. So tonight we'll show you this year's winners of the President's Medals in three different categories. <clears throat> the Dissertation Medal for the best written work submitted at either Part 1 or Part 2. The Bronze Medal for the best design project submitted for Part 1. And the Silver Medal for best design project submitted for Part 2. The winners of the SOM Foundation Fellowships and the Sargent Awards for Drawing the winner of the RIBA Donaldson Medal, the winners of this year's President's Awards for Research, and the winner of the Annie Spink Award for Excellence in Architectural Education. Now, after this ceremony, you'll also be able to see an exhibition of student work displayed throughout the building. This exhibition is staying here in London for two months before it's transferred to venues throughout the UK and abroad. Over the last few years, the popularity of this exhibition has grown tremendously, with interest from venues wishing to host it not only in the UK, but also in Ireland, Romania, Singapore, Turkey, Australia, and the United Arab Emirates. For next year, we also have had interest from new venues in Bulgaria, China, and Serbia, and a few more very interesting destinations are pending confirmation. On behalf of the RIBA, I would like to thank the supporters of the President's Medals for their generosity. In particular, we would like to thank the Skidmore, Owings and Merrill Foundation that has supported and sponsored these awards by awarding two fellowships, and the Callprint team as our graphics partners. Callprint have supplied the exhibition panels displayed in our galleries and other printed materials you'll be able to see tonight. And a special thank you goes to our colleagues at the RIBA Journal, who have joined us once again as President's Medal's media partners. Now, let's continue. To say a few words about the RIBA and its role in supporting architectural education, please join me in welcoming to, to the stage the RIBA's Chief Executive, Harry Rich. Thank you very much, David, and ladies and gentlemen, let me add my welcome to uh, the RIBA to you as well. In all the work that we do, the RIBA champions better buildings and stronger communities and a, a better use of the world's resources, and we do that through our members and through architecture more generally. And therefore, the education of architects is absolutely clearly central to that work. And for me, therefore, it's very exciting that tonight we'll get the chance to celebrate the best work that students and researchers have produced over the past year. And we will honour all kinds of work, including design, extended writing, research projects located in both practices and universities. And we'll celebrate the role of creative teachers of architecture. Since we were established more than 175 years ago, the RIBA has been very proud of its intellectual base. And I think it's particularly important that in the past couple of years, we've managed to renew and strengthen our commitment to being a hub for architectural knowledge, innovation and cultural activity. And we particularly welcome debate and discussion that move the profession forward and demonstrate the economic, social and environmental benefits that architecture brings. Now, we're all too keenly aware of the economic pressures and rising, of, of rising tuition fees which challenge uh, both our universities and our students. However, on the other hand, I think that when you see the range of creative work tonight, you'll agree that our young practitioners, 
students and architecture schools are producing impressive and stunning work despite all of those difficulties. Supporting the education and professional development of architects is core to everything that we do because the practice of architecture needs constantly developing and relevant skills to, make a, make, to, to keep a competitive commercial edge and to produce work that makes the world around us a much better place. And all of us here at the RIBA are so proud that in the President's Medals competition, we have a remarkable annual showcase for the talents of students and researchers from all over the world. In a few minutes, we'll get a chance to see something of their creative and provocative thinking, their energy and enthusiasm. And I wish you all a very enjoyable evening. Thank you, Harry. I would now like to invite to the stage your host for this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the president of the RIBA, Angela Brady. Thank you, David. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as a champion of architectural education and of the role that architecture can have in our lives, I'm truly delighted to host tonight's ceremony as president of the RIBA. As some of you may know, um, as a practitioner for many years, I've welcomed secondary school students into our own studio. And I think that it's great that we can actually give them the opportunity to get a little bit of work experience and kind of have a taste of what architecture in practice is all about. And we also have a team of architects which go into schools. And I always encourage people to adopt a school. So any practitioners here, it's not that hard to adopt a school. Go in, you can do a workshop, or just tell them about what architecture means to you. And this evening, actually, I've just um, interviewed the uh, five students on the back row that are from Forest School and from Clapton Girls School. And we've got a little vox pop, you know, the uh, voice that you do for YouTube, and it's really all about, so you want to be an architect. And it's really to entice them into architecture. And I'll tell you, some of the uh, sound bites that we have are truly amazing from 13 to 15 year olds. Um, so this evening, we're going to start by celebrating the President's Medals. Um, these are the RIBA International Programme of Student Awards. And these are the oldest awards made by the RIBA, having been offered since 1836. So for over 176 years, these prestigious awards have grown immensely, with the number of entries increasing each year. This year, the RBA invited more schools than ever before. So a total of 305 schools of architecture from 66 international countries. I'm delighted to announce that this year's President's Medals have broken their all-time records as we received the highest number of entries ever in the history of the awards. Most importantly, we had the highest number of entries ever from international schools not yet validated by the RIBA, with work coming from schools in countries such as China, Denmark, Greece, Ireland, Poland, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Switzerland, Slovenia, the Netherlands, and the United States of America. Tonight, we will also award the RIBA Donaldson Medal. Established in 1866, this medal is awarded in the memory of Thomas Leverton Donaldson, and he won the Royal Gold Medal in 1851. And he was the RIBA president from 1863 to 1865. So it's been a long time here with us. We will follow this by awarding the President's Award for Research, which recognizes excellence in the work of masters and PhD students, academics, and practitioners. And these awards help to champion high quality architecture investigation and to promote dissemination and incorporation into our knowledge base of our profession. They raise the profile of architecture and architects engaged in research, and they highlight the need within our profession for strategic and innovative thinking. 
Tonight, we will also present the RIBA Annie Spink Award. And this is for excellence in architectural education. This is the biennial award, which recognizes the work of a tutor in a school of architecture with courses that are validated by the RIBA. And this is for the person who has made a significant contribution to architectural education. So as you can see, there are many reasons to celebrate the future of our profession. And I'm glad that we are here as part of an institute that has a platform and a place to contribute for such a celebration. And I'm very grateful to our sponsors and to everyone across the institute who has really put so much time and effort to deliver tonight's awards. So I hope you're going to enjoy tonight's awards. So please do enjoy the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you.